So in this session with Turk Giet, who is a femur fighter, but was a very like stand-in aggressive femur fighter, those things don't seem like they really go together that much anymore. <laughs> but he is absolutely the uh, epitome of this type of style, which is that he has every weapon, he's very slick, he has great movement. One of the things he works with me on is kind of what in boxing we would call stick and move, is that you're constantly taking these small changes in angle, but you're striking like with a teep or a jab or something in between all of these little shifts of movement. As you're coming off of a kick, you don't come back straight to where you were, you kind of angle off a little bit. This is what allows you to stay really close, but also be defending yourself so that you're not just in the same spot where you strike, the other person strikes back because you're exactly where you were when you threw your strike. So this little change of uh, angle all the time is very important for Turk Giet's style. He also has a lot of dodgebacks. <laughs> dodgebacks are something that still happen in Muay Thai, but they were way more common in the Golden Age. This was a way to stay close uh, while still being evasive rather than just taking distance all the time. He has some really, really beautiful boxing. He doesn't teach the boxing so much, so just watch it. Like, watch where his weight is, watch how his feet are moving and the distance of his legs, the way that he leans on his, um, on his boxing as he's, like, eating up your space is just, to me, it was shocking standing right in front of it how beautiful and effective it was. It was really beautiful. And then in the end, we got a little bit of uh, clinching in there as well. Turkey is not a clincher in the sense of that this was a strong point, but it's absolutely not a weak point of his either. He has really beautiful anti-clinching in the way that he stops opponents from being able to get really good locks on him. And again, he's always changing angles. He's slipping out to the side to get his opponent into these positions where he can make a really dominant move on them and a very, very effective strike where they're not in a position to really defend themselves from that as much. Uh, Turk Giet fought some of the absolute best in the Golden Age. He's right up there with like just the high names of like these were the Iron Men, the like Diamond Men, and he was up in there uh, fighting with them as well. And he's four-time Lumpany champion, so he was clearly doing very well at it. But to understand the style of being a strong, scary <laughs> femur fighter, this is what Turk Giet's style is, and he works through uh, many of those aspects in this session, which is very exciting and I'm really, really excited to have him in the library.